Do you guys still hear? Hi there guys, this is your boy Russian. The sausage king of Chicago. That's right. And by the way, I want to add there's something that was left in the comments in the channel. Uh, one of the things I want to let you guys know, yes, I do know the name of the game is Rappels. Now, the reason why I always refer to the game as Rappelsy is because I played this game for so long. And during the first years, when I would mention to someone about the game, these people would spell that with an S and would find of everything to do with rappelling and not actually the game. Therefore, I got used to say rappelsy, and that's how I like to call the game, and I'm gonna stick to it. If you don't agree with me, please feel free to build a studio, to start a YouTube channel, to pay for editing software and all that stuff, and I'll see you then. Anyway, so as you guys know, I was away for over a month. I was dealing with some real life stuff. And I'm just coming back into the game. And the first thing I found out is all the transition that is going on from WebSAM having lost the bid wars on the publishing rights to Bora. Now, Bora consistent is part of way to bit. And what is way to bit? It's a type of blockchain. Now, Blockchain for you guys that may not know, it's a type of cryptocurrency. So, you guys don't know what a cryptocurrency is, just think about Bitcoin. Now, let's discuss the possible goods and bads about this transition. So, I will play devs advocate on that, okay? Uh, in my opinion, there's one thing that we need to really think as players, and it's a devil you know. So, I do understand a lot of people have many issues with WebZen and they even feel that WebZen didn't manage the game correctly. Now, as playing Devs Advocate, one of the things I, I have to say is, while um, I'm not saying that WebZen did all the perfect choices and all that stuff, a lot of things that happen in the game it does not have as much to do with WebZen, but with Gala Labs. So we need to keep that in mind. Another thing that is really important to remember is that W coins, WebZen coins, will be going away and they will be replaced by Bora tokens probably. So first of all, Bora tokens are a type of cryptocurrency and I have really no idea how that's gonna play out with the game economy. Now, why am I mentioning about WebZen coins going away? So, if you still have any WebZen coins, you need to use them up until the 22nd, or you're gonna pretty much forfeit all that money. Um, and this can be a little bit of an issue. Uh, uh, it all depends on people just coming back to the game because they know they have to do the transfer and they still have WebZen coins in the bank and they may have to buy whatever is being sold at the time and not really make, you know, wise choices. Another issue I find is Game Masters and Mods. So, I know a lot of people may have issues with the Game Masters from the WebZen. I'll be honest, nobody gonna be liked by every single person. One thing I can say about GMs and Mods, because I had direct conversations with them, a lot of things that most players didn't even realize were broken, they got fixed in the fly by people like Nasco and all. And I can attest that because some players used to come to me and mention about issues going on in the game, and I would talk to Nasco, he would check the problem, and if he could fix right away, he would. Now, the problem with that is, GMs, as far as I know, are not going with the game. Uh, some moderators will what I think gonna help some ways. But the problem with not having a GM who is actually involved with the game, like someone like Nasgo, for example, is they don't know the game. 
and it, it may be a good thing. They may have uh, brand new ideas and realize some issues that someone that been in the game for so long may not, but it also may cause some issues. So it's something that we need to wait and see, but it's something that concerns me a little bit. Another issue is this game been live since 2006. I've been playing this game since December 2006, what is about a month after the official global release of the game. And one thing I have to say, a game that old costs a lot of people to take breaks. Um, in the most nowadays, with the whole black play going on, a lot of people have been taking breaks. Uh, it could be because they are tending to a loved one that may be sick right now. Um, they may, for example, be working on a complete new job. I mean, jobs completely change nowadays. Um, I myself had to actually structure myself into a studio because it was getting very stressful for me to record in my room. So I felt if I actually came to an area where I could actually feel like I'm dressed to work and that's what I'm doing, I wouldn't slack off so much. Because the truth is, things are stressful as they are today. Now, the other thing that could happen to people, uh, right at the beginning of the game, uh, a few years after, I actually had to take a whole year break. I was doing some Call of Duty LARPing around the world, so, <laughs> well, internet and some hell holes, uh, it's not that fast playing game. So that was a major issue and a lot of people still deal with that because we still have countries at war. So those people are gonna have issues. They're gonna find a lot of issues right now with that quick transition. Now, why a quick transition like is happening right now? So everything is happening within a one month's time. So that's a little different for people that have been in the game for a long time. Mostly because when WebZen actually started publishing the game, I remember I was LARPing, as I told you guys. Uh, and when I came back, I still had almost a year to transition my accounts. I, I don't quite remember the amount of time I was giving to transition all the accounts, but I remember it was a pretty large time, so I really don't know. It, 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 it just feels really rushed. Now, there are a couple of things that could be the reason for that. So, one of the possible reasons uh, of that quick transition, it may be because of Europe. So, you guys may be asking why Europe may have an issue. Well, it may have to do with GDPR what is General Data Protection Regulation. So, so let me just clarify this thing. If you guys already did the transition to your War account, if you guys did what most people don't do, what is read the ELA, um, you will notice that a lot of your information gonna be given to the company. Now, this can cause a lot of issues with Europe because companies are not allowed to withhold this much information. So, it could be that this quick transition is happening the way it is, so they cannot be found? I don't know, it, it, it's just that something that someone brought up uh, during a conversation, and I can see this happening because one so much transition, it's gonna cause a lot of issues. So, some people already had the issues, like I mentioned, and that had to do with uh, the account transfer. I didn't see this problem happening right now. I transferred two of my accounts and it was pretty smooth. Now, it could happen that this was an issue that was happening in the beginning. So, I can't really tell you, but it seems to be fixed. I do not have an Apple ID account, but I did read something that there may be some issues on the information transferred in there. Now, the other issue always going to be people coming back to the game and finding out that their account's gone. 
and that's gonna cause a lot of anger of players. Now, when we have a really tight community, I know a lot of people, like Mamba for example, are trying to communicate to all players they know, even if that's offline or if that's on Facebook or whatever other medium, about this transition. But I guarantee some people with plus 25 equipment will lose everything. So, what do I think the future holds? Is that going to be good? Is that going to be bad? Well, as for the subscription, just like the subscription to the channel, it's pretty easy. Was almost just click a couple of things and be done with. Now, I could not find much information about the company, which is something I don't like. If I look about and try to understand WebZen as a, a gaming company, um, a publisher, it's pretty easy. Well, finding out about Bora, it wasn't that easy. I found a lot of information talking about their, you know, blockchain, but really not much about how they handle games, how they handle the community and all that stuff. So I guess it's something that we're gonna have to wait to see. The other thing is, I did try to reach Dan just to understand uh, any type of plans the company may have. It's something I wasn't able to yet. I gotta be waiting to see if by any chance I can actually speak to anybody from the company. I did take a look in another game they manage, what is a Stella Online. And I'll be honest, the forums are pretty slim. So, it's hard to tell about uh, the opinion people have about the company. Now, I don't know if the company just removes bad comments, but I guarantee you guys seen that before. Like Nintendo, for example, done that many times. Um, so, it's pretty hard. Um, I'm still gonna try to figure out if I can reach anybody, be on Facebook, uh, be on the Discord channel, that would be great. If one of you are watching that, hey, you guys can hit me up on the channel, you can hit me up on the comments, you can hit me up on Discord as BND, broken up that. Anyway, guys, so uh, I really would like to know your thoughts on what do you think that transition gonna do to the game? Um, leave in the comments, let me know. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up. If you guys really didn't like, that's okay. Let me know what you guys think about the changes on the studio. As you see, it's not a virtual studio anymore. Um, set up a little bit better the cameras. I'm not actually filming a tiny little area in my room. Uh, I'm still finishing up stuff. I may have to work a little bit on the sound. I don't know how the sound looks yet. So hopefully everything gonna be great. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying healthy. And as always, I'll see you in the game.